I'm really particular about my eyeshadows. I consider myself a little bit of an eyeshadow snob. <laughs> Ooh, I wasn't expecting that. Hi. Today, I am gonna play with the brand new uh, Mini Starlet from Natasha Denona. I'm really excited to have this little palette. I haven't even looked at it yet. This is literally gonna be the first time I lay, lay eyes on the packaging. Oh, it's different. Now they have it open in the box where you can see the mini instead of a picture of it. Huh, that's pretty, I, I really like that. I feel like that's gonna be better for um, eye appeal when it's sitting on the shelf, like inside of Ulta or Sephora in the little mini bin sections. This way you can actually see the shadows and I think that will help it sell better. Okay, let me <laughs> let me take it out of the packaging. Ooh. Really pretty. Here's what it looks like. Now, I, I know I already have all the shades in my collection, but I didn't care. I wanted the mini and I'm so happy to have it. Look at how beautiful. I like to travel with the minis. I probably wouldn't travel with any of my larger ones. Maybe they would hold up, but I would be devastated if one broke, especially if it's a limited edition palette or one that is no longer available. I digress. Let me get on with a few of the things. Hi. <laughs> I'm Michelle, in case you're new here. I love eyeshadow. Anyhow, I already know I love all of these colors. Like, I already know it. So, so really, the only thing that I'm here to find out is, like, is there an update to the formula in these particular shades? Or um, is it just, like, the same greatness or whatever? But really, I just... I wanted the mini for a travel version of this beautiful little color story. You have a video with my big star palette, with my full size star palette. If you want to see that video, in case you missed it, I'll link it up here in the eye and down below in the description box, as well as my Natasha Denona playlist. I love Natasha Denona palettes. I have almost all of them. <laughs> Anyways, um, I don't know how I got onto that. I just got excited thinking about all my palettes. I'm sorry. I love her eyeshadow so much. Let me get my eyes primed and we'll get into the eye look. <laughs> this is what the palette looks like. It's really beautiful. I think a lot of people were expecting this to be a lot more pink and purple but she's already got palettes like that. This is more of like a dusty peach, I think, um, like more towards a neutral peach. And then I love this shade here. This is my favorite shade in my full size star palette. And like, I actually have a huge dip in my full size. Like I, I'm surprised I haven't hit pan on it yet. That reminds me, I need to pull out my full size star palette and play with that one again. Today, I'm gonna to create a look using all of these shades. I've already got my eyes primed and I'm excited to get into the palette. So let's get into it. I'm gonna use this lighter one and see what it's all about because I'm very familiar with this one. I can't remember what this one is like or where it's from. Anyway, I haven't used the Safari or the Tropic palette a whole, whole lot. So I don't have a lot of experience with wherever this shade is from. Actually, I think this one is from the Tropic. I remember seeing it in there and I have used that one. I love that shade in the Tropic. So although these are all repeat shades, I'm really happy to have an updated formula from Natasha Denona in a mini with these shades combined. I'm completely happy with it. I don't have a problem with this release. I think it's perfect for like on the go, for in your makeup bag, or for an affordable way to check out the brand. Um, especially if you don't have the full size palettes that this comes from, this, this little mini is a win. Okay, so let's put this in my crease. I just made sure that I had no creases. And I apologize if you can hear my neighbor who just started doing their yard. <laughs> I'm gonna just forward through this so you don't have to hear the lawnmower and hopefully they'll be done soon. OK, 
okay? It seems like that stuck on my primer a little bit. That was user error because I didn't wait long enough for that to dry down after I had just, you know, blended out the creases. Um, anyway, I'm gonna try to work with it here. I am filming in natural lighting. I have no additional lighting on, so this is the true colors of the shade as best as I can get it represented in just regular daylight. <laughs> I hope that's helpful. Just blending this out with an with my um, Singe Beauty. Is that a two? It's a three. <sighs> with my Singe Beauty EO3. One day I'll learn the numbers, but it takes me a while. Numbers are hard for me. I'm better with words. <laughs> if this would have had a name like Fluffy Blender, I would have been able to remember forever. But because it's numbers and I'm dyslexic, plus I, my eyesight isn't what it used to be, I really struggle with it. So I apologize for that. I mean no disrespect. I truly don't. I'm just literally over here struggling just to exist, okay? I'm not trying to hurt nobody. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love the way that blended out. This brush is literally my favorite blender that I own as far as like blending out shades. Well, <laughs> that's what a blender does. <laughs> Hello, Captain Obvious. Anyway. <laughs> wow, it's early in the morning, guys. It's early in the morning. So <laughs> you're getting like my first round. I don't even know. Okay, this is literally why I haven't gone back to work yet because I am not ready to handle trial cases again. Not yet. I'm getting there. <laughs> anyway. Okay, I love that shade. It's so beautiful. I'm gonna take a smaller fluffy blender into my favorite shade from the Lula. I've never, I mean from the Star Palette, I've never used this as a darkening up shade. <laughs> it's always been my crease shade, so I'm curious to see how this performs in this manner. Oh, I would say that was nice. Ooh, that's really, really beautiful. I love that shade so much. I love it even more now that I know that it, like, can deepen up a softer shade instead of being my softest shade in my crease. It can be a deepening up shade. I love this color, oh my gosh. There's that, I think that is absolutely beautiful. Oh my goodness, look at that. Okay, I am loving, loving this palette. For the front of the crease, I'm gonna take another like bigger blender into this really beautiful peach. Now, what I remember from this shade in the Tropic when I use it is that it's really just like a standard nice matte. It's smooth, it's not buttery, it's not creamy. It's a little dry, a little hard pressed, but it picks up well. Um, not dry like in a bad way, it's just not creamy at all like Natasha Denona's formula is now, you know, in her more current releases. Oh. And that shade you really had to build up and it didn't even get this bright. Oh my God, I am so excited to see an improved version of that shade. I'm so happy that she re-released some of these shades because uh, these are probably some of the more popular shades from within the palettes that they come from. And having like an updated formula and combination of them is right up my alley. I'm so happy for this. I think it was a smart release, especially since, you know, it was, it fulfills the spot of a mini without really having to go out and develop new colors. They could just improve on the formula that was existing. So that's really neat. I really, really like the payoff. So much better than the one in the Tropic. This is in her new and improved version of formula. So I'm really happy about this release. Wow. It's 
So now I've got the two shimmers to use. And I feel like it's pretty obvious what I'm about to do, <laughs> but let's do it. I'm gonna take a Rubber 26 into the light shimmer here. I really can't remember if this is like a white, like a white icy shade or if this is purple. It looks kind of pink, kind of rosy on the brush. Let's just see what happens. I'm gonna put it right here because I don't know what color it is. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, it's perfect for the inner corner. So I'm just gonna bounce that down into that little edge. See, I love how that's kind of shimmery. Like it's got like a sheen, a little bit of an iridescence without being glitter. I don't have to use glitter glue. I don't have to worry about that like chunking off into my eye. I absolutely love Natasha Denona's like shimmer, glimmer formula. I don't even know what it is, but it's really beautiful. I like it so much. I love Natasha Denona palettes though. You know, I'm, I'm critical of eyeshadows. So, you know, I'm critical of her eyeshadow too. It's just that she met, she meets all the checks for me. So it seems like I'm not critical, but I really am. I'm really particular about my eyeshadows. I consider myself a little bit of an eyeshadow snob. <laughs> I don't mean that in any negative way. I'm just saying, like, I don't, I don't mess with low-end formulas as far as performance and wearability, longevity, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, I've got basically the building blocks of the look done. Now I'm just going to take this shimmer here on my finger and put it all over the center of the... Ooh, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, oh my God. Let's put that all over the lid. I'm so excited right now. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful peachy color. Where did I just get that from? This one. Ooh, it's really nice. That's perfect. Look at that look. I love it. Oh my gosh. Literally, Natasha Denona never lets me down. <laughs> like, never. I, oh, I just picked up the mat. Fuck, I'm gonna have to pick it up on a different finger now. I do that every time. I always go into the wrong shade and then I have to change my tool that I'm using. <laughs> okay. Let me just get a little blending done, but that's the look. Oh, I need to do the lower lash line still too. <laughs> I don't want to put any of the white shade up in my brow bone because I just feel like it might be a little bit too shimmery and I like the fact that it's all matte up there. So I'm just going to try to blend the edge out a little bit more. I think that's really nice. I am wiping my brush off on a towel in between each use, just to make sure I don't carry over any color. Let's work on the lower lash line really quickly. I'm gonna take this kind of medium sized pencil. It's actually kind of a small pencil. This is probably like a normal person's version of a small pencil right there. But for me, this is kind of a medium size. This is the Ruffer 03. I love this brush. I'm gonna go in with I'm gonna build up, I'm gonna use both of the mattes, the darker mattes on the lower lash line. Actually, I'm gonna use all three of the mattes. So I'm just gonna put this one here in the middle and then the darker one, obviously on the outer edge. I'm gonna take the peachy matte, put that right here and just kind of brighten up this spot right there. Wow, 
That color is so punchy now, way better than in the Tropic. So impressed with that improvement. Really happy with that. This is just a clean brush that I'm using to blend out the bottom edge a little bit. Okay. I really like the way that looks. Let me add some eyeliner and mascara and we'll be right back to look at the, wait, what? Here's the finished eyeshadow look. Let me add some eyeliner and mascara and we'll be right back and take a look. And I'll be right back to show you the completed eye look and we'll finish out the video. Okay, friends, here's the finished look with the mini starlet eyeshadow palette. Let's take a good look at the eye look. <laughs> I don't know if that was helpful. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so I did use every single shade in the palette. I really like the improvements on the formula. Um, let's just see if adding like the slightest little bit of this white shimmer like the light shimmer over onto the peach makes a difference let's just see oh yeah do you see how that brightened up the peach so layering them up works really nicely wow that's beautiful yeah Okay, I'm a terrible swatcher, but this was this was my best attempt, <laughs> okay? I'm gonna try to get better at this, but there you go. I hope that's helpful at all here on my medium, what, light to medium, skin tone, olive undertone in natural lighting. So yeah, I hope that's helpful, here you go. It's kind of hard to see, but it performs a lot better on the eye. Let me know, what are your thoughts on this palette? Are you planning on picking this one up? Are you skipping over it because you've already got it in your collection? Um, are you interested in the fact that it's got an updated formula? Let me know. I look forward to reading your comments down below in the chat section. And yeah, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to click the like button. It really does help my small channel out so much. And make sure you're subscribed so I can see you in my next video. Bye.